Hey, honey. Good news. I checked on Penny, and she didn't scream. I think she's getting used to the mask. I don't want you to have options, Tom. If I die, I want to hear your life would be over. I want you to spend the rest of your life screaming. It should have been me on that plane. Plane? I'm assuming there was a crash. It could have been something else. Okay, okay, wait, wait, wait. Do you have any idea how painful it is to hear about you even think about your next wife and kids? I could never do that. I can't imagine my life without you. You are my everything. Honey, you're my everything. Okay, well, that's easy to say, but I need you to show me. How? With a vasectomy. Can I just get you some flowers? Look, it makes perfect sense. We're not going to have any more kids. And, and the pill just makes me bloat. It'll be great. Okay, no, okay Lynette, this is crazy. Oh, I know, I know. But it is what married people do. They go out of their way to calm each other's irrational fears. Oh, come on, Tom. I really need you to do this. Okay. Fine, you yeah. know. I'll make an appointment. Thank you. Hey. Hey. You're not limping. Did everything go okay? I couldn't do it. What happened? I don't know. I got there. I put on the paper gown and I, uh, I just couldn't do it. Why not? It felt like I was being emasculated. Oh, please. I'm serious, Lynette. I don't make the money around here anymore. I don't provide for you and the kids and I wasn't gonna let them snip out the last thing that makes me a man. Staying home and taking care of the kids doesn't make you less of a man. That's crazy. You expect me to calm your irrational fears? I expect you to call mine. Are you saying you're unhappy? A little bit, yeah. Well, what are we gonna do about that? I don't know. Well, can't we just... No, Lynette. I don't know. 